Hello everyone, this is Randy here again, another episode of Farming Simulator 2013, and we are playing on the Westbridge Hills map from the Titanium DLC. And from the money below, it looks like I've done a lot of work, I uh, really haven't, um, I went ahead and sold three bunkers worth of silage we had sitting here while I waited for the uh, corn to grow. Still have uh, one bunker here, so, anyway. Our, uh, let's see what's here we go over. Our corn is partially grown. Not completely, but enough we can uh, get started on it, hopefully. And the question here is which combine do we want? Probably the John Deere. So we want, uh, I believe this is the one right here. So we'll buy that. Now, to get that one out of here. Probably won't be using this for a while, so we'll just park them in there. And we do have a corn header there for one of the cases. I don't know if we'll uh, get a second combine going or not. We only have a little bit of corn there, so. I pretty much planted everything we had, so... This combine backs up really slowly. Okay, and I think we'll just uh, reset that header since it's just the header up there. And whoa, that is a big header. And technically this should be the same uh, width as our uh, planner. At least in real life it would be anyway. That looks like it matches up pretty good. Which means it probably doesn't uh, actually match up very good with our uh, case combine. We're going to try that in a minute. Actually, another question. Is the pipe on this one long enough? Probably not. Oh, it might be. Yeah, I, it's close anyway. Let's put it that way. Anyway, let's uh, let me back this out of the way here a minute. Let's get the case over here and see if he'll fit onto this. I know it'll attach more than likely, but uh, it's probably going to look weird and might actually not function correctly because it might uh, either raise it up too much or lower it down too much. Okay, maybe we're not even going to uh, connect here. That's interesting. Yeah, just get out of the way there, John Deere. Yeah, 
Yeah, looks like it's a no-go on that connection. Interesting. Yeah, it's uh, lined up about as perfect as we're going to get it, and it's a no-go. Okay, well, that's uh, so much for that. Let me see what's here. I wonder if it connects to this John Deere, then. That pipe sticks out way too far. Uh, no connection on the John Deere either. Interesting. Hmm. That must have changed, because this used to connect. Unless it's the smaller uh, case here. Of course, now I'm curious because I'm going to have to give that a try because these, uh, one of these cases I know connected to that John Deere and it was all weird, so. Okay, apparently no connection. Apparently something has changed, because he's used to connect. Oh well. I was hoping to uh, run two of them uh, big 24-row uh, ones, but I guess not. Yeah, we'll get this uh, guy back up, and then we'll head down there. And I'm pretty sure this header folds. Yeah, <laughs> New Holland corn cutter, huh? Yeah, that don't look like the New Holland. By the way, these uh, headers come with a uh, pack of combines. I think there was two of them, two John Deere combines. I don't remember which ones exactly, but I don't have them in the game. Rather uh, sorry looking, in my opinion. However, I did keep their headers just because, I mean, that's a 20 row, 24 row corn header, so. And there's it, um, this particular combine doesn't actually come with any headers, so. Which is too bad, because I mean, really nice looking combine with a. Uh, not necessarily a bad looking corn cutter here, but. Definitely doesn't look like it goes, that's for sure. Okay, 24 rows at a time here. Uh, turn that on. And away we go. Oh, we're 
we're going to fill up fast. My goodness. Boom, just like that. Okay, let's uh, get somebody to unload us. wagon tipper or something. Oh, we got a John Deere hooked up already. Oh, no, we do not. Let's see if we can uh, sneak in there and uh, let's push that guy out of the way. There we go. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't see nothing wrong here. Just moving on. Moving on. spend more time unloading than we are uh, actually combining here. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, you can actually uh, drive through this, uh, corn header too, so. Actually, maybe the whole thing. I don't remember exactly. Okay, that part right there I can't walk through, but I think everything else you can pretty much drive through, so if you want to get closer, you can. And while we're waiting for that, let's, uh, let's see what's here. Let's get this guy mowing again, because we have a couple empty bunkers. We're making an absolute killing on the uh, silage off this field. Well, actually, it's not silage. Uh, the grass that we're making into silage off this field. And I think he's already got the course loaded and everything, so all we got to do is tell him to drive. And away you go, buddy. Okay, maybe he's a little too close there. So I get him lined up a little bit better. I was afraid of that. There, you can find your way from there. Okay, maybe not. Come on. There we go. Lift the header. Get him out of this dip here, I guess. Okay, now you should be able to drive from that. Okay, and then next time we unload the combine, we'll probably head down there and, uh... We'll get the pickup guy going. And this won't take very long to, uh, load back up, I'm sure. Five percent already. Boom, full again. And have we made it? Uh, I don't think we've made it halfway down the field yet. Oh, we're not 
quite close enough. Bugger. Fine, we'll just drive through the head a little bit. By the way, I think this is, uh... No, this guy wasn't connected. Okay. Well, like I was saying, by the way, I think this is one of the cooler looking tractors. Never seen one like it in real life, but... Apparently you can drive through all that back there. Interesting. get this guy lined up a little bit better here. Okay, let's uh, reset all that. And we need field 13. Let's see, we are starting in the southeast. Going west, I believe. Yeah, that'd be west, yep. Generate the course, and then to unload course, we're going to go to bunker 4. And drive the course. Actually, you know what? I might have, uh... Let me reset that and try that one more time. Field 13 markers, load that, uh, generate that. That's good. And then load that. Okay, he should be good. And we should be empty over here again. Now, I could course play this, but I think we'll uh, just do that this ourselves here this time, at least for a little bit anyway. This is actually where the case would actually come in a little bit more handy. It has a little bit larger uh, grain tank on it. Okay, and we'll grab a Peterbilt. Apparently Peter built this, I guess. take a hop and a skip over this field because we're going to need to unload that uh, wagon pretty quick here. Now, will we make it to the end of the field before needing to be unloaded again? I think not. Find out here. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, we 
did make it. Barely. Just barely. as well unload this guy before we load the combine on the boat before we unload the combine apparently can't make that type of turn with this uh, thing attached that would be a uh, B to unload Oh, look at all that lovely corn. I was over uh, 40,000 there just from that uh, one uh, pass, so. Imagine how many passes we're going to get off this field here, at least if it was fully planted. Oh my goodness. And you can see it, I mean, it's almost, there's a little bit there, not a lot, but... Almost got all of it planted. I've got the thing is uh, combine unloads quickly enough. Let's see, can I get the uh, GPS mod to work with this? Uh, yeah. Looks like it's got the right width there. Not that I can really see that uh, green line down there, but uh, it does work. And I got it in uh, auto steer anyway, so I don't really need the green line, but... And boom, just like that we're full. My goodness. Yeah, I don't think uh, course play will ever keep up with this uh, with this uh, corn header. This is just absolutely absurd. Whoa! I guess we can uh, run into something there. That's interesting. I don't recall having that problem before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I thought you could uh, walk through. Uh, I thought we were hinged here. I thought that's where it, uh, at least I can walk through it anyway. And usually if you can walk through it, you can drive through it, but...
Yeah, and it takes an absolute brute of a combine here to take these 24 rows at a time, too. This is uh, actually a real header, so uh, this isn't uh, something fake or nothing. I kind of wonder how this uh, fast action feels up in real life. That is a uh, 16.8. Uh, apparently that's how wide uh, GPS thinks this uh, corn head is. Yeah, in real life too, you would have to uh, slowly drive up and down the, this trailer too, otherwise, you know, one spot, one spot would fill up. You have to keep uh, basically driving down the trailer, keep filling up uh, the trailer. You can't just uh, sit in one spot like this, like you do in farming sim, and uh, it evenly fills the trailer. It'd actually, be kind of cool if they would uh, implement something like that. We barely get going and we're uh, already full again almost.
Yeah, what I'm thinking I'll probably do, I'll do a little bit more here, call it an episode, and then off screen I'll probably set up a couple overloader courses for this field here. And I say couple, maybe we'll have to uh, get another tractor going on this too, yeah, we'll uh, see once. Not sure why that works with an overloader course like that. I think our Trejo there's almost full as well. And that's all the trailer holds, too. Okay. So we almost got 100,000 uh, corn there. Well, folks, I think we'll uh, call an episode here. If you uh, have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below. And as always, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.